Hello there, thanks a lot for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard and today it's 23-year-old Barbara Streisand, four months pregnant with her only child, doing a short tour in the summer of 1966. Now she had just finished a, a run in London of Funny Girl, literally just in mid-July, and she was hurrying back home to embark on this big tour, five weeks and 20 cities. But it was probably all just too much for her, and I'm sure her doctors recommend this move. So all the shows except four on that big tour were canceled. But what's really fun is I've got the original vintage window card concert advertising poster printed before the shows for each one to show you today. So I can't remember the last time I had a whole tour represented, although only four. Well, the first date was Newport, and of course that's a very common image. In fact, I have blogged the original concert poster before, and even had a repro to show you on hand. But, you know, I didn't want to leave it out of this blog because it's four shows and four posters, so here we are starting with this very familiar image. Well, how's this for not a familiar image? How about this neat photo of Barbara arriving in Newport? <laughs> there she is, four months pregnant, and, you know, poodle in tow. And uh, it's a nice humanizing element to see that. That's a nice photo. By the way, this picture and all the photos I'm going to show you are courtesy of barbara-archives.com, which is a great source for information and photographs. So, Barbara was paid $50,000 per concert, and perhaps even plus a percentage of the gate. Maybe that varied from show to show. And she sang and talked for 90 minutes to 2 hours, and played to a 35-piece orchestra. She would go through about 20 songs, and at each show she had a couple of extended monologues that uh, the reviews called pretty much hilarious. So Barbara was definitely being a funny girl or a funny lady, <laughs> whichever, at the time. Now my other blog does go into great detail about all the names and everything on the poster, so I won't be redundant, but I just want to remind you, once again, down in that bottom white margin there, the originals like this one have just one printer's credit, and it is centered right below Barbara. And the reproductions have two credits, and they're spread out to either side with nothing in the middle. It's plain white under Barbara in that margin. So, it's not like I have four different concert posters to show you. This was the tour blank that was used for the four shows. And so from show to show, what changed was the city up here. They all say an occasion in. And then, of course, the information down here. So if you just keep an eye on that for a second. Voila! Three days later in Philadelphia at John F. Kennedy Stadium. Now, interestingly, the poster on here says August 2nd, but, you know, summer rains just bedeviled this very short tour. And, uh, you know, this particular show is the one that, had, that was rained out, so it had to be moved to the very next night, August 3rd. Kind of interesting the way Philadelphia was abbreviated up there at the top with just five letters, Phila, period. And then down below it does say the John F. Kennedy Stadium. And on this particular date, on August 3rd, here's a nice photo of Barbara on stage looking rather ravishing. And then three days after that, Atlanta, Georgia. And the poster does say Atlanta at both the top and the bottom because it was Atlanta Stadium. Boy, that was a huge place, I'll tell you. So what they did was they cordoned off 25,000 seats for Barbara. There's no way she could have sung those intimate songs to that stadium filled. Kind of funny the way uh, none of the posters have ticket prices. Interesting, they just chose not to. But at least for this show, the tickets were tiered with a top price of $12.50 down to $3.50. And yes, as I said earlier, this show was rain-soaked also, and this one almost got canceled. And, uh, but it did go on, the show did go on, but it's kind of funny, Barbara came out and even uh, started the concert <laughs> in a raincoat with umbrella, and there she is on stage. But before long she had shed that and of course was wearing a beautiful gown. So with the earlier rain out, it turns out Barbara's four shows were literally every three days. And so here we are for the fourth and final one, three days after the previous, on August 9th and the final show at Soldier's Field in Chicago. Hey man, but what happened to the color? Hmm, that's a good question. For some reason, Artcraft left out the orange and the pink on this one. Either that, or it could be simply a printer's, you know, anomaly, and that most of them did have the color. 
So, you know, after this date, uh, <laughs> you can imagine she was one tired woman and in a delicate way, so Barbara made a personal statement, if you will, and backstage at Soldier's Field in Chicago this very night, she had her hairdresser take off much of her hair and give her a pixie cut. Definitely the easiest do to manage, if you will. And then she um, actually posed for a photograph with her puppy, <laughs> with her dog, Sadie. So here it is. And uh, Barbara's ready to traipse off into motherhood by the end of the year for the birth of Jason Gould. So here it is, the entirety of Barbara Streisand's 1966 concert touring, all held in my hands at once. Wow, what great fun. Great year for Babs as well. Two top five albums, Color Me Barbara and Je M'appelle Barbara. Fun concert posters. Great showing them to you. Thanks. I appreciate your time, and we'll see you again for something soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.